Hi there and thanks for joining us. I'm Connie Tran. If you have a mental health condition, you are not alone. According to the National Alliance on Mental Illness, nearly one in five American adults experience some form of mental illness in any given year. And even though it's much more common than we think, there are still widespread misunderstandings about mental illness. We're bringing you another three weeks of our In the Know series, this time tackling the topic of mental health and breaking the stigma around it. Why is it sometimes difficult to talk about internal struggles? Here's Dewan Utek, the director of the Fresno County Department of Behavioral Health, to explain more. Dewan, thank you so much for joining me today. We are talking about such an important topic, mental health, and that is certainly coming into play now more than ever, this discussion on mental health. Talk to us about, uh, you know, exactly what is mental health and why is it so important as taking care of your physical health? Well, most of us feel pretty comfortable with the need to stay physically healthy and have physical fitness. Um, but mental health is something that has always had a lot of stigma in our society. And so we really think it's incredibly important to normalize the conversation around mental health and get people to thinking about um, how to keep themselves mentally healthy. And the most important thing when they're experiencing signs of mental distress, um, to not be afraid to seek help. Talk to us about what exactly is anxiety, depression. You know, we hear those terms being tossed around a lot. And how do you know that you're feeling those symptoms of anxiety or depression? Um, well, those are the two probably most common um, mental illnesses that people might experience in their life. Um, all of us can relate to times when we feel a little anxious, maybe about taking a test, meeting someone new, um, or we're depressed, something sad has happened in our life. Um, but really when it's, it becomes a problem for you is when we want you to get help. And the signs that you might see of anxiety are um, you really are worrying so much um, that it's interfering with your ability to do the normal things in your life. Signs of depression are just the similar, the similar things that we always feel when we're sad, um, but it's taken to the next degree. So feelings of hopelessness, sadness, really losing interest in things you normally enjoy. You might have a change in appetite or you've lost weight. Um, you might have that anxiety as well um, and maybe difficulty controlling your emotions. Our society has made it almost a sign of weakness to ask for help when you're struggling with things like anxiety and depression. Um, and that's the stigma that we all contend with. Um, I often say that if you participate in social media like Facebook or Instagram, you'll often see people posting about um, you know, please think about me, I'm dealing with cancer or I have a heart issue, um, but we don't see people posting things like that. And, and really that stigma with talking about it is what keeps a lot of people from getting help. And we have to find a way to normalize that conversation. And part of that is just recognizing that mental health is just like physical health. And we have to attend to it. We have to pay attention to those signs and symptoms and seek help. Just like we would go to the doctor if we started feeling um, difficult issues with our, with our physical health or problems with our, our eating and such, we might go to the doctor. Uh, we have to do the same thing with mental health is seek help. Our 24-hour access line is probably the one resource because it is there 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year, and they're able to connect you with resources and help you sort through what might best meet your needs. And so that's probably the one line um, that I would recommend. Excellent. Thank you very much, Dewan. We hope everyone Absolutely. reaches out who needs help and know that they're not alone. Thank you. Yeah. It's important to start the conversation. Absolutely. Thanks.